she had always been loyal to God. Ever since she was a child, she had obeyed his commands, served his church, and loved his people. She had been betrothed at the age of three to the infant Dauphin Charles, the future Charles VIII, and served briefly as Queen of France from 1483 to 1491. She had accepted her fate, trusting that God had a plan for her. She had been faithful to her husband, even though he had repudiated her and married another woman. She had forgiven him, praying that God would bless him and his new wife. She was Margaret of Austria, and this was her portrait, the daughter of the emperor. She had been painted by Jean Hay, a Netherlandish painter who was called the master of Moulins. He had painted her in 1490, one year before she was repudiated by her husband. He had painted her in a style influenced by Leonardo da Vinci, seeking a haunting ambiguity of expression and a soft, enveloping light. He had painted her with grace, dignity, and beauty. He had painted her with skill and artistic detail, but also with respect and sympathy. He had painted her to honor her and her father, the Emperor Maximilian I. She was standing before a dark forest grove, holding a large gold filigree paternoster bead of her rosary. She was looking to the right, presumably toward the object of her devotion. She was wearing a pink dress and a green robe, with a chain of gold shells on her headdress. She was wearing a pendant of a pelican piercing its breast to draw blood with which to feed its young, a symbol of Christian charity. She was wearing a collar with the initial C and M, probably signifying her union with Charles. She was wearing these elements as signs of her piety, her identity, her charity, and her loyalty. She was Margaret of Austria, and this was her story, the daughter of the emperor. She lived a life of service, sacrifice, and devotion. She endured many hardships, sorrows, and humiliations, but she never lost her faith. She witnessed many changes, conflicts, and innovations, but she never lost her hope. She was a daughter, a wife, a queen, and a saint. She was a woman of God, and a woman of history.